have a line and the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history is back tonight. The former two division champion, Conor McGregor, as such, the celebs are out. Let's see what type of version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. Usually when Conor McGregor shows up, it's usually his best right. version. He's a guy that takes a great amount of pride in preparing for the event. He says it's a fight every single time he sees his opponent, from the press conference to the weigh-ins to the stare down. He is ready to show his opponent his best self every time he's in their face. And not only does he do that in the build-up when he gets into the octagon, with all the ability that he possesses, he's able to do that same thing. That's why he's been so successful and has gone from the top, from the bottom, to the top of the UFC in such a short time. Truly one of the elite strikers in UFC history. Moves every needle you would like him to move. And as you said, his work ethic, his preparation truly is legendary. Let's see if he has put in the right work in advance of this showcase fight here tonight. The biggest superstar this game has ever seen has graced the octagon. McGregor is ready to go. fighter and those are always the ones that we enjoy michael chandler has the ability to just take him out but he would prefer to punch you in the face let's see how many he goes let's see how many he can land tonight as he steps to the octagon and plus athlete doesn't even begin to describe it let's see how it goes for michael chandler in another big spot tonight Iron michael chandler set to fight the notorious conor mcgregor tail of the tape for this welterweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, and the former UFC lightweight champion, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Referee Herb Great Dean fight. will handle the action Great. in the octagon. Let's do it. Right, two of the best lightweights in the world. They are Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler. McGregor, of course, has been on the top of the sport. Chandler still chasing that undisputed UFC lightweight greatness. Yeah, and it starts tonight. If Michael Chandler is going to have any opportunity to fight for the belt again, he has got to beat Conor McGregor. But there are a lot of landmines in trying to deal with the McGregor problem. He has a tremendous left hand. He is very fast. And Conor McGregor's eyes, in terms of the striking, are as good as anyone in the UFC. And I believe his time spent preparing for Floyd Mayweather really elevated his level of boxing. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor. And there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang. Drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate. And that allows him to finish so many fights. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice left hand there by Conor McGregor. He's 
still got him. Yeah, he absolutely has it. He's one of those guys that understands distance management better than most fighters. Just out of range with that right hand. And everything's landing with so much power. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Just over three minutes to go. Michael Chandler gets caught by that straight hand. to the head of his opponent. Oh, beautiful hook there. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Oh, solid kick right there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by McGregor. Single collar tie now. Nice leg kick. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defense. Under two minutes now to go. And there's a takedown attempt. Chandler's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. A oh, big left hand from Conor McGregor. We'll see if he can follow it up here, champ. All right, so the narrative in this one, Conor McGregor's striking accuracy. He talks about this cater of weaponry, but the hands have been scored to Well, he can do it all. And this is where he wins fights. When he is comfortable, when he is confident, and he spends the vast majority of a fight on his feet, Conor McGregor is victorious. And we are seeing that in the octagon tonight. There you go. Look for the shot. Straight punch. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Overhand attempt now, it's blocked by McGregor. Nice crack there. Under a minute to go. He gets to the clinch. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you put a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Oh, McGregor's cut above the eye, and that blood figures to start to trickle down. Could compromise his vision here moving forward. is over and you see some obvious bleeding now looks like the cut is on the nose yes it is cut man will try to get in there and shut it but of course as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round that thing could reopen certainly bears watching here moving forward all right so now we have some real adversity there's a cut on the nose hard to know if that's impacting the breathing but some definite damage in that previous round yeah some real damage and now when you get a cut like that that is in a bad spot because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous fight. Yes, it wasn't a fire fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, McGregor. 
Man, that Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute piston, and it lands again. It's like an atabomb. Like, he hits people, and they fall down. And he understands the power that he possesses. So he's willing to throw it over and over again. I just keep thinking back to him and Eddie Alvarez, how every time he hit him, he just knocked him out of his shoe. Conor McGregor's left hand is as good of a single strike as there is in the UFC. Yeah, he needs to register that. <laughs> Oh, effective use of the jab by Connor. Hard shots landing on both sides here. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Chandler's back in half goal. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He Chandler's got an arm. Looks like he's trying to lock up a Kimura. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Looks like he might get the finish here. This has to be it, John. It's got to be it. Hang on a oh, second. Beautiful job to escape. The level of awareness that he just showed there tells you how high level a mixed martial artist span is. Oh, McGregor's in half court. Big ground and pound. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. In the half guard. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the feet. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground. Well, these guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Oh, McGregor's taking aim at that cut right now, and they might even have to call in a ringside position. Smart decision by the fighter to continue to attack that compromised area. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Beautiful kick lands there. Ninety seconds to go. I need you. Oh, oh, there is his hands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off. Time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Chandler's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. 45 seconds remain in the round. He's got to start throwing now. Oh, Chandler's hurt. Lands a big elbow there. 30 seconds to go in round two. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Chandler's cut on his nose does not... Chandler! Ten minutes in the can. All right, heading back to the corner, and Chandler's nose has got to be broken. I'm no doctor, but perhaps they should call on one right now. You hate to see a fight ended because of a circumstance like this, but I'm just not sure the fighter's going to be able to continue given all the blood.
Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Side kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Gregor's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Pretty good jab there by Chen. side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Chandler. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see anymore. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it, it it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly outmatched, and his corner will not save him. This is crazy. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Just misses with the jab there. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Michael Chandler gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you... Oh, it's a perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might get. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made the perfect. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Coleman's somewhere smiling watching this guy land from the top position. And he's back up. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Mixing it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. Chandler's... Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Here we go inside the Octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 32 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor McGregor.
right, well, as many of you know, the overwhelming majority of Conor McGregor's pro MMA wins have come by knockout, and he produces another one here in the Octagon tonight. Produces another knockout. Conor McGregor will tell you that he's going to knock you out, and he goes out there, and he does it. Hats off to Conor.